Hi everyone and welcome to Stefan Eats in this uh, special uh, Patreon video and uh, I guess I'll release this a little bit later just on YouTube but uh, Patreon first. A couple months ago I went to uh, Corsica and uh, I had an amazing time, it was super cool and I tried to film by myself which was very interesting, it was one of the first times uh, but unfortunately the second day I was there I had a little bit of a stomach issue and I decided to just take it easy. Yeah, let's dive right into my day in Ajaccio, uh, Corsica, uh, such a unique island. I want to say mostly southern French culture and Italian culture but very, in my opinion, I think it's really, really closer to Italian culture than French culture. Uh, so it's a very unique island with some uh, fairly unique dishes too. So anyways, uh, here's a, just a very informal video <laughs> of me trying to film by myself. Uh, some really cool dishes though, uh, so let's dive uh, right into it. Very quaint little town, just arrived yesterday and uh, just look at this beautiful little kind of alleyway. <laughs> just a direct access to the old port. Anyways, uh, we're gonna start this day off right. So there's a very small market very close by. And then after that, we're just gonna explore a whole bunch of spots. It is Sunday, uh, so um, some restaurants are closed. Uh, typical kind of French Sunday where most restaurants are closed. But I found some pretty cool spots. There you go. And that's kind of what you're looking at. And this is kind of the apartment entrance here. If you're afraid of the dark, you might want to avoid this. Actually, there is a light though, so it's not too, too bad. But anyways, uh, and of course, just beautiful kind of cobblestone alleyways. Now, actually, Ajaccio has one kind of very small old part, and then the rest is a little bit more modern. Cool thing about Ajaccio is that it's actually the birthplace of Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, so if we have time today, I want to explore the house. Apparently he lived in a house here. This is kind of the market we're walking up to here. I think this market is pretty much every day. I'm not sure exactly what to find, but I'm hoping to find some cheese and meat. That's exactly what I'm hoping to find here. bit salty but like super meaty and fatty oh my god oh no it's heavenly mm, no it's so good salty goaty and perfectly balanced Here's the first thing I've gotten, and these are very kind of traditional Provençal kind of things. These are beignets, uh, the courgette, so it's pretty much a zucchini beignet. Mm. Yeah, a little bit oily, but overall, just very fluffy, and look at the interior too. The interior, uh, kind of like mixed up zucchini, and also I think this one made with corn flour. Dory, very well known apparently. So a couple of things that we got. Uh, first one is just very basic. Uh, it's a coffee eclair. Uh, I can never get enough of these. The second one, which is very unique, it's a tart and it's made from brochu cheese. Pretty much it's like a kind of ricotta, uh, but Corsican. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I think I got that coffee bean in that one too. Bit of crunch, coffee cream, very nice. It's almost like a coffee custard. Not bad. It's fairly sweet actually, and I think they've maybe put a hint of like orange rind. I like it, but it's a little bit sweet for my liking. So for me, it's all about that coffee eclair. So here we are at this uh, restaurant for tonight, and originally I was going to do the giant kind of pasta dish with the langoustine, but it's about 75 euros, so uh, you know. Uh, so yeah, what we're having tonight is, uh, it's actually a place is called You Compagnie uh, Chez Pasquale. Chez Pasquale? Pasquale? I don't know. Some very typical course dishes. There are three dishes I really want to try in Corsica and uh, I haven't ticked any of them off yet. Cheers to Corsica. Yeah. That kind of worked, didn't it? Oh yeah, perfect. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's a very good table wine. A little bit fruity and really not that strong. Not much of an aftertaste. So we have this first dish here and then we have the other cannelloni on top of that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this one first because this looks great. So it's a veau olive, and it normally comes with polenta. So it's a veal with olives and it's so freaking beautiful. You can just smell the tomatoes, the fresh tomato sauce. Uh, it, that's the first thing I get. Giant kind of chunks of veal. Then there's kind of just a giant hockey puck of polenta. I thought the polenta was gonna be more kind of like on the side, but it looks like almost like a polenta cake. Just the chunks of polenta just stewed in that tomato sauce. And as soon as you touch that polenta, it just disintegrates and look at that color of the polenta too. Oh man, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's really good. Tomato sauce, not too pronounced actually and uh, the veal is very tender. And then I'm gonna try a little bit of this uh, polenta here just with a bit of that sauce. Polenta doesn't have that much flavor. Uh, but it's just there to soak up that sauce. I'm still looking for the olive soap. Oh, there you go. Let's get this big boy. Oh, look at that. Yes, look at this thing. That looks crazy good. It's like three wagons of, of veal. It's like a train of veal. <laughs> and they're all gonna go in my mouth right now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that veal is very nice and tender. Could use more olives because uh, I don't really taste the olives that much and I really was kind of excited to have just kind of deep olive flavor. Oh, look at that. Yes, perfect. Oh yeah, those two types of cheeses, and then some herbs, and then the tomato sauce, and cannelloni. Yeah, what I really like about the cannelloni is that you just really taste the cheese. Uh, the sauce is not overpowering, the cannelloni is very well done, the cheese is very mild, but because of the mildness of the sauce on top of that, you're tasting the creaminess of the cheese. And the herbs in there, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's fairly herbaceous. And then chase it with a little bit more of the veal. Oh. Oh, and what I love is every time you grab a piece of veal, there's another piece that just kind of clings on for dear life. Mm. Oh. Mm. And there we go. Chase it with a glass of wine and some accordion music. And it almost feels like Emily in Paris or Emily in Corsica. But screw that movie. <laughs> We're in Corsica. This is nothing like Paris and I absolutely love it. And uh, that will be it for our uh, very, very informal Corsica video. Uh, like I said, the next day, I just really 
have, like, I wasn't hungry. I, I can't really describe it. I wasn't sick, but my stomach was a little bit upset and I really wasn't hungry for the whole day. So that's kind of why I stopped filming because uh, I didn't really want to force myself to eat. <laughs> Later, I did feel better though. Uh, but yeah, I just decided to just enjoy myself and pretty much instead of filming food videos, I hung out on the beach and did absolutely nothing, which was very nice. Uh, anyways, like I said, this was a Patreon video first. Uh, if you do want to see more exclusive videos, of course, uh, check out our Patreon page. My goal is to explore as much food as possible, but sometimes you need a little bit of support because, you know, some food is not cheap. If you do enjoy our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon so we can notify you future videos. And of course, hit us up with those comments. We'll see you very soon. Ciao for now.